Hey, 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 Alias here and uh, all is uh, leaking over here. Um, yeah, this is the leaks uh, script which comes in uh, different flavors. We have the cave leak if you want to place a bunch of them together uh, like I did here. You have the option to turn off the sound for it so you don't have too many sounds overlapping and have some weird effects. Then we have the so-called uh, rain or water leak or open spaces. The particles and sounds are different from the cave leaks. We also have uh, the gas or steam leak uh, with a bunch of parameters I will uh, explain later. You can set this uh, effect to inflict damage to players. And we have the fire leak which can be set also to be deadly. So if you get uh, too close to it, uh, like uh, 2 or 3 meters, uh, you get burned. A little. For both uh, gas and uh, fire leak you can choose to make uh, them uh, harmless, uh, so you can use it uh, for show or to create a certain uh, atmosphere in your mission. As usual I tried to make the scripts uh, plug and play, easy to use. Uh, I will show you how to use them starting with the uh, water uh, slash uh, rain leak. In editor you place an object wherever you want the leak to be, you name the object as I did here and use that name as parameter to run the script. This script uh, has only one parameter by the way and that is the name of the object you placed in editor. The cave leak has uh, two parameters, one is the name of the object you use as a source and one is uh, boolean and if it's true the leak will uh, make uh, sounds. You don't want too many objects uh, close to each other making the same sound because the sounds uh, will uh, overlap and the effect, the audio effect will be messy. Another cool effect I have added by default to this uh, cave leak is the shower effect so to say. If you go under them uh, we get uh, this uh, audio and visual effect of uh, being uh, showered by water. The fire leak has uh, three parameters, uh, one is the name of the object, then we have the so-called vertical angle which uh, controls the pressure of the leak so to say. So if uh, this number is uh, higher than uh, zero, the fire burst will point upward and if it's uh, negative will point uh, downward. A uh, quick note here, uh, you can place uh, as many fire leaks and uh, gas leaks uh, as you want close to each other. It's safe to do that because uh, there are several sounds uh, available for uh, those effects and the script will uh, pick uh, random ones so hopefully we don't have too many identical sounds uh, overlapping uh, in a bad way. Going back to the vertical angle uh, parameter, I recommend values between minus uh, 5 and plus 5, but you can experiment with uh, different values and see what uh, works uh, better for you. By the way, the direction for the fire and gas leak uh, as well uh, is taken from the object you use as a leak source. So simply orient the object as you want and the leak will have that uh, direction as well. The last parameter is a number and is the damage you take from fire. This damage will be applied uh, several times per second, so if you set a small uh, value for the amount of uh, damage, uh, the players will not be killed uh, instantly, but they will still have time to move away from it. However, if you set this value to be negative, uh, no damage will be inflicted. And the same it goes for the gas. One mention though, even if you disable the damage for uh, gas uh, slash steam leak effect, you will still hear players coughing and breathing heavily when they are in a range of uh, gas clouds.
For gas leak we have pretty much the same parameters as in fire leak effect. We have the name of the object, we have the vertical angle, we have the amount of damage and we have an additional parameter which is an array that gives you the possibility to change the color of the particles. Basically the array contains uh, three numbers, one for each uh, component of the color, red, green and blue, and these uh, numbers must have values between 0 and 1. In my demo mission I used uh, 0 for all of them, which makes the color of the particles black. I hope you will not have uh, problems using uh, the script, you can always check out uh, any leak SK file to see the syntax. If you have feedback or questions, let me know in the comments. Until next time, have fun and uh, happy editing!